In this video, I'll show you how to create dope highlights. What's up creative fellows, may you have a very good day. I'm here to show you how you can draw highlights only using a mouse. Yes, a crappy mouse. Trust me guys, painting highlights is all about drawing. It's not about what you use, it's not about uh, what brush you have or I don't know, what blend mode you work in. It's just about drawing. Of course, if you have the right brush settings, if you have the right blend mode, it's gonna be a lot easier for you, but it is all about practicing on how to draw the highlights. So today I will show you how I do it so you can just uh, copy my style or I don't know, get inspired by it and do your own drawing so you can get better and better as the time pass. But before we get into the video, please click on that subscribe button and also like this video because I'm sure you're gonna like the content. Support me to grow. Thank you so much. So without wasting another second, let's go. I have three different groups here. One is the background group. The second one is my model group. And the last one is the background elements. Uh, we're just gonna work with the model group because I wanna paint highlights only on the model. So I'm gonna create a new layer. I will clip it to the model by holding Alt and clicking on the line between them. I'll get a soft round brush. I set the flow to about 10% usually. Just see what suits best for you. And then I'll get a color, the highlight color. And then I'll start painting on the areas that are exposed to the light. One mistake that I see many guys make is that they only paint on the edges. Well, that's not right. You have to paint on the areas which are exposed to light. For example, in this area, I will paint on this part of the scarf. It is not the edge, but it is facing the light. So you have to paint on it. And also I use the eraser tool to just uh, erase off the mess I made. Make sure it is a soft round brush and flow is about 20. And also the creases on the on this clothing, scarf, whatever it is, make sure to take the creases in consideration too. Paint on them and also use the eraser tool to fade off the off the tip or the end of the highlight, which will make it look like it's been drawn with a with a pen or a tablet. Just makes it look pointy. Another tip that I have for you guys is that whenever I start painting the creases or stuff like that, I start with a big brush and as I get closer to the end of the highlight, I make my brush size smaller and smaller to make it look like it has been drawn with a pen. You know what I'm saying? And, and then I use the eraser to fade off the end as well. Now just sit back, relax, do whatever you want and watch me finish painting highlights on this cyberpunk fella. Bye. 
After you're done painting the basic highlights, what you want to do is that you want to create a new layer, clip it to the model as well, get your brush, make it bigger, and increase your flow, and then just dab once on the areas that are exposed to the light to just create a highlight like that, and then double click on the side of the layer and use Blend If to get those highlights off of the darker parts. Just remove these two sliders by holding Alt and clicking on them and adjust it till you are satisfied with the, with the result and then uh, you can just keep on painting on different areas of the model too. To give this even more life, you can create another layer, clip it to the Model 2, but this time change the blend mode to color and paint on the areas that you want. This kind of gives this whole image, whole highlights, like more life, makes them more vivid and kind of looks better. To add even more sauce to this, you can create one more layer on top of everything else, put it to screen blend mode, and just dab with a very low opacity on the areas which are bright to add more life, more sauce, or whatever you want to call it, but this looks cool, so I do it always to give more volume to my image. Mm -hmm. 